Hello everyone, this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are unboxing Adderfields is here. This is the new story-driven dream crawling game from Awakened Realms and the only other Awakened Realms game we have is Tainted Grail which we already have done a review of. If you want to watch that you can go and see that. That is a brutal survival game and I have heard this is not that much about the survival thing which makes me more excited to play this because it's puzzle, it's story driven which is something I enjoy like it's the heavy Euro games and it's the story driven games as usually kind of speaks to my heart in a strange kind of double feature there. So today we are opening this thing. This is the first wave shipping of the Kickstarter uh, pledge. Uh, I went for not the core, like we, I think there's going to be like two boxes in here, one the core box and then some miniature box, so I'm looking forward to see those miniatures. So I basically did not go for like an all-in thing with all of the expansions and stuff. We will see if we love this. Maybe we'll go in for the second the second wave Kickstarter pledge manager but there's just so many games and if we even get to play this I'm gonna be very very happy so I'm gonna try to open this up now I um, do not know how well that will work I'm gonna uh, you will probably not see me now because I will now turn to the other side and you will see me up in this corner but you won't see me because this box is gonna be in my face so I'm gonna move this box to the middle here and this might be the best board gaming rambling shot ever I am going to open this up here and there's something underneath. So we have a, oh, okay. So this is something more for ISS Vanguard, which is their next game. So there's something in here. We will look at that later. And if you don't want any spoilers, of course, then don't watch this. Then we have the creatures of Etherfields. Oh, this is very light. It's not very heavy. I would think that the uh, miniatures would be heavier. And then we have down here the actual box. I actually have to stand up to get this out of here. And it's so, so, so heavy. Oh. And then I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to remove this. And I'm back. Hello. Okay, so this box is huge. This is a big, big box. And I enjoy this box. Like this is, first of all, look at this box. There is nothing on it that says the name of the game. Let's see. There's actually... The name of the game is nowhere on the box, which is strange. So this might be like a Kickstarter thing, but that is kind of weird. Like there's no... Oh, it's here. I'm just blind. It's there, but I couldn't see it. It is very hard to see it, but I could not see it through the plastic. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing more in the box very well made box very well put together so first of all let's take a look at this iss vanguard thing um, if you don't want to see this then of course turn off now this might be some something about the new game they have coming they did this also for tainted grain there was like an art book for for it or something so let's see now what's in here there is a book iss vanguard so yeah, this is basically more, looks like it's actually a cartoon, some cartoon, little cartoon and a lot of information about that game. I'm going to try to actually be in the frame, which is a good thing about making videos, is actually making you see things. So this is interesting, like if you are, it's very, this is very unique. I've not seen anyone do this before. Put a big book, this might be the actual no pages, but like a 50 page book about a game that isn't even out yet. And then we have an Etherfields letter. And then we have something down here. A dog tag. It's a crew member dog tag for ISS Vanguard. This is pretty neat. Like this is a good way of making your fans, like the people who back your games, make them more excited for your next game. This is pretty neat. So uh, let's see if we can take this out here. It's gonna be the hardest thing. Okay, so I thought it was open. It was not open. So boom, pretty nice quality a dog tag here. If you, if you are, I don't know who would wear this for a game that you don't even own. But maybe like this is no promo for the actual game. And then we have here. Welcome to Edifields. You're just one step away from entering amazing dream worlds and discovering their secrets. 
we just wanted a little moment to highlight a few things before you start. First of all, a lot of the content from the stretch goals are already included in this box. During the development, we decided that part of the extra uh, unlocked content will work best together with core box. So we put extra effort and added a little delay to add them. Now, I like that. So here are the things added. They are Lucid Mode Dreamer Born. So I think like there's uh, some... The, the Lucid uh, expansion was something I... To be completely honest, I don't know too much about the game. And so there's a three new human shapeshifter poses, team marker, double layer tray, penguin miniature. We need a penguin miniature. We have some plastic uh, item intent markers, dividers. I like dividers. Secondly, we kept working on the game and adding much more than was promised in the campaign. You will find a whole new 48 page uh, script book, extra cards, larger board, more tokens, all of this on top of the stretch goals. Here's a full list. Okay, that's pretty cool. New upgraded bases from most models. That's cool. A better and more quality board. That's an 84 by 56 centimeters instead of a 68 by 48 centimeters. And then we have a whole new 48 page script book. I do not know what that's. Secret scripts, okay. Tomex extra cards, 85 standard cards, 27 or size card. You have a Ziploc bag. I like that. Like, that is like in this kind of game. Do you need to tell me like, oh, we added all of this amazing stuff and a Ziploc bag. Weird. And then we have on the back here. The, thirdly, don't forget about the rest of the stretch calls. Like, there's just so much stuff. We moved a lot of stuff to the uh, core box, but we're working on expanding the game. So you have the Harpy campaign and the She-Wolf campaign. The Riddler expansion and some more. I don't know how much of this I, um, we are getting. Maybe this is all the stretch goals because there's a lot of stretch goals. That's why I didn't go all in on it because there's just so much stuff going on in this game and so much stuff that you will get it when you when you back this game. Uh, okay, so all in all, creating Enderfields was a hell of a ride. But now, when the game is complete, we could not be more proud. Thank you so much for your support. Without you creating this amazing adventure, it would not be possible. We really hope you'll be enjoying your stay in the esoteric other fields. Okay, that's intriguing. So, and there is a letter. And this was kind of a letter as well in... I like this very nice quality. So this is basically... Dear Backer, we're delighted to deliver you the fruit of countless days of work. It's like a, a thank you. And here you get an extra element. So it's basically all the same, some of the same information that was in here. Uh, it's a flying cat companion. Okay, now we're coming in the through second wave. Bear in mind, those are only extras we have added so far. You still have a second wave coming. On top of that, in this secret box, you'll find a surprise gift. A unique book that serves as an introduction to our upcoming sci-fi board game, ISS Vanguard. That's cool. As well as a metal dog tag from the ship the game is named after. ISS Vanguard will allow you to experience a race, a rare, upbeat and pro-science tale of space exploration and countless mysteries to be discovered and great gameplay. We hope you will enjoy all of these uh, additional freebies. Okay, cool. That is very cool. I like that. I like that. It, it, it feels good to be a backer when you... Like, I don't feel like I need these kind of, like, goodies and extra stuff for for, for most things. But I like it in these kind of big campaigns that they're adding something. Not that you need to by any means, but it's, it's a fun thing to do. So now we're opening up the actual box. And I'm excited to look at this. I'm excited to play this game. So we are opening this up. Boom. And we have the creatures. We're going to take a look at them uh, later. Uh, this might be a longer video. We're already like 10 minutes into this unboxing and we're just now opening the box. Okay, so boom. The smell is nice. It's a big, big box. So we have this. This first of all, this looks amazing. Like this just looks beautiful. I love this cover. It's amazing. It's just so bleak and so. Oh, there's something. Oh, some scrapes. That's gonna happen because it's a big black box. So I'm gonna put that away. And then we have the manual. I have read most of this. I am gonna read the rest today, and hopefully we will start playing. The game looks very nice. The game looks very much like a fun game. And that is a positive thing. So I'm not going to talk too much about the, the rule book. But there is a lot of nice artwork here that I, I, I actually adore. So we are going to take a look now at the rest of this stuff.
Okay, so next up here we have the secret scripts. I'm guessing this is something I'm not supposed to open. This was a thing that was added to the game. This is like a 40 page long thing. And yeah, it's basically just scripts for the game. Not gonna open this obviously because that is all the spoilers in the world. And then we have here, what is this? This is kind of an old school, old school like a um, slide for cards. I don't know what you need this for, where we will see. So four big card slots and nine small card slots. Then we have the big game board here. So this is the one that now has gotten bigger. Maybe they saw like, oh, we need a big box so we can fit in a bigger board. It's a good quality board. Good. Make sure you see something up there as well. Like these unboxings should be most of the time be called Johannes opens up games that he backed on Kickstarter and doesn't know anything about. Because that is how it feels when opening up these games. Like I'm excited to play this game, but I, I do not know too much about it. Okay, then we have a bunch of punch boards. We're gonna take a look at them soon. There is a lot of stuff in here, so this might as I said, take a while, so uh, you might just do this double speed. So here is a couple of envelopes. A couple of envelopes, good quality envelopes. I do not know, they have a, like a sleeping person on them and they're empty. So we're probably gonna use them for putting things in them. That's my kind of like, um, that's my um, looking into the future seeing. You're probably we're gonna put things into envelopes. Then we have a plastic tray. I don't really need to tell you everything because you can actually see with your eyes. Um, okay, and then we have cards, which there are a lot of in this game. And we are not gonna open up all of the cards in this one or in this video because that would make the video extremely long. So we have some... And the thing is, I don't really wanna open a lot of the cards because I don't know what cards I'm supposed to open at the beginning of the game. So I don't wanna be like, I don't wanna end up opening things I'm not supposed to open. But these are some very big tiles. Like these are a lot bigger than in in, in, in uh, Seven Continent, for example, which also have like the setting up or all or, or, or these cards. But as it seems like this is playing on a board, so it's not gonna be the same amount of cards. It's not gonna be like 16 billion cards all around. This is more a fixed amount of things. You're not exploring, I think, in the same way. Welcome. Okay. I'm not gonna look too deeply on this, just in case. Uh, there is some spoilers, so this is kind of like a half um, half unboxing. We're not going to uh, open up another double card. Ziploc bags, that was one thing they added in. I'm happy about that. And there's empty space here. And then we have some bases, some plastic, plastic bases here. Just pretty straightforward, nothing really to add about these. Um, some glass beads. Again, these are... Basically, oh, they're plastic, not gloss, are very light. So it's other than that, nothing, it's nothing out of the ordinary. And the same, just in red. So these are the same, just in red. And then we have some of these, the plastic, plastic intent markers or whatever they were called. And these are good quality. I, this feels like I should eat it, but I, I know I, I, I shouldn't because board games are not food. Uh, they are board games. Okay. So, uh, and some crystals, like very light, very light plastic in this, but uh, but it still feels, uh, oh yeah, some more, more of these, and then we have more of these plastic components, and we have some dice, let's take a look at these dice, oh, those are some very light dice, they look very, very good, they look very nice with the... Uh, Nice custom dice, but they're very light, very light dice. Light dice. Not that they are made of light, but they are light, like not heavy. The opposite of heavy, light. Okay, that makes sense. And then mostly there are cards here, like there are, again, we're not gonna, not gonna look at all of these cards, but they are, I'm, I'm thinking there will be cards. I'm, I, uh, no, I mean, I'm thinking, do not open this deck. Okay, so we might be able to open up some of the other decks that do not say that. And this is just another which just says Etherfields. And then we have another one in here which says, do not open this deck, which has a four on it. So these are some 
and kind of let's call like hidden information cards. So take let's take out this some miniatures. You're gonna look at those soon, and we have some miniatures here. And this is where this came. Oh wow! Look at this. That is one big miniature. Look at that. That is a very nice miniature. A huge, huge miniature. It's a deer, you no, know, like a kind of an animal with a human face, some and a human being like, you are my animal. This is so beautiful. This is so cool. Okay, and then we have more of this. This kind of reminds me of the, the, the bad guy in, like not the main bad guy, but the, the bad guy you get in the core box, so Tainted Grail kind of looks like that, but it's a bit less imposing. And here we have, I think these are the dreamers. These, these miniatures are very beautiful. Like, as you know, I'm used to playing Euro games with cubes and pushing cubes around. And these are some very, very nice looking miniatures. So let's see if we can get this one up here as well. If we can get it into focus. I think it's pretty in focus now. Look at that. So pretty, pretty nice. Something else seeing this in, 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 in real life than, than seeing them on the Kickstarter page, obviously. So the cards probably have some nice uh, nice um, artwork, but we are not gonna take a, a, a very close look at that. For the reasons I have already said, and now I have no idea where to put this, it means I have to get the miniature box over here. I'll put this over here. And we also have another box of minis here. We have a penguin, because you need penguins. Penguin. That is something everybody needs. All in all, these miniatures have some very nice details and some very, very like. I'm not a miniature gamer, so if you see them, I'm like, oh, these are horrible miniatures. They might be because I do not know miniatures. But in my eyes, as a Euro gamer who is a fan of cubes, this is some very, very good looking miniatures. And I like, like, there's not too much stuff. In this game like it's mostly cards and then reading uh in 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 the book and then and, and doing all that let's see is there something under this insert it's like a very heavy insert because of all the cards that's like the new thing now is hiding things under the insert nothing it's empty okay so that is the core box. We're gonna put all these resources down in the box again. And these mystery envelopes. And then we're gonna take a look at these punch boards. So let's open up this punch board. Let's see if we can get it open. So are you excited for this game? Let us know in the comments if you are excited about playing this game. We are hopefully gonna try it out tonight. This is one of those games that we mostly like to play two players just because it's a more like we like just sitting down and exploring these kind of, of, of games like this and even especially if they're long campaign games and also they are kind of um, easier to get played that way because we are two players most of the time. Okay so let's let's do the the test. This is kind of now called the Paul Grogan punch board test so let's see. Yeah, this is great, and there's really not so much to do here. I'm not gonna punch it all. But these are the masks that you use, so there's a lot of those. And I love the artwork here. I like this. I remember seeing this on Kickstarter, these these masks. I've been like, oh, does that look does that look good? And now when I see it in real life, uh, it does. So these are the player boards, and I don't mind them being cardboard. Like some people maybe be like, oh, no. and these are kind of weird. These poison paralyzed, they remind me of like, uh, they remind me of um, House on the Haunted Hill. Now, with the, it's, now what is it called? It's called Betrayal at House on the Hill. These guys, reminds me of kind of like old school, um, old school board games. So, and I love these punch boards that just falls out by themselves. And we have more of these. These are four different characters you can be. And there's more of them. Okay, so there's more characters we can be. 
free spirit, gambler, specialist, tough guy. And then there's more. No, it's free spirit again, but looking different. Maybe that's like the, the um, lucid dream thing that we saw. I'm looking forward to look more into this because I want to play this game now. And then there's a lot of tokens here with, with nice artwork on them. And, um, and I, I'm looking forward to look at the mystery of this and see see what we are supposed to do in this game. And uh, that's kind of like the, the fun thing about not going into the game knowing too much because it is a mystery game. So that means that uh, the mystery will be even bigger. So this is the Creatures of Etherfields. We also have the Creatures of, uh, or the Tainted Grail Miniatures expansion. But the, the miniatures are very nice, but you don't really use them for anything. So uh, I'm looking forward to see if you maybe use these more. It's very light. That's like the only thing. Like this. Oh yeah, the miniatures are kind of light. I just thought they would be... I thought they would be heavier. So these are, I think, 20. Uh, 20 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 22 new uh, miniatures to use in the game. So if you don't have this pack, you're just gonna use different tokens. I I thought this was worth it. Like if I'm gonna buy a game with miniatures, I would like it to be all of the cool miniatures. And I do, I am a sucker. Like Suno also really loves beautiful components. And we love taking out a, a, a miniature and being like, wow, this is gonna be on the board. And we will like that even though, even though we usually like pushing cubes around. So these are very, very beautiful. I love that there are some that are small, like this little woman sitting in a, oh, and then, and this is pretty nice. This is a woman sitting in a, a drawer, like in, not yeah, in a drawer, like it's a cupboard, no. It's a, what is it called? Like it's uh, three drawers on top of each other. I do not remember the English word for that. Uh, it's called a komod in, uh, in, in Norwegian, and I know it's not called that in English. And we have a lot of nice, and this one also like is a tongue coming out of a closet. Like makes sense for the... Oh, the dream theme here is something I, I really love and something I think I will enjoy diving into. And this guy here kind of reminded me of Bioshock, if you play that video game series. This reminded me of Bioshock. And uh, yes, I think that is kind of it. I think that is kind of all of the stuff in there. I'm now gonna go uh, and organize these cards and try to make it make sense and how, how to sort it, how to sort all the cards, how to set it up. Hopefully there are some things in the rule book or in the some sheets somewhere that tells me how to start putting up the game because that would make it easier. I think there's like a tutorial on how to make that work, how to, how to, to start playing the game. This is kind of like a Mexican. Uh, no, it looked like he was kind of like a Mexican with the mask and everything. And but they, these these are very very beautiful. I just love the looks of these. But I think I'm gonna stop it there. I hope you got like a, a good feeling about how uh, some of these pieces are. And I know other people did unboxings as well, so you can go and check those out. And uh, we are looking forward to play it. And we will probably do a review when we have played enough to to do that. And. Uh, that is the end of this uh, unboxing, and that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Johannes, and you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye-bye.